In this video, we'll be solving the equation problem from the USSR Mass Olympiad. The question is, what is this natural number n for which this equation has integer solution? First, let's take a close look at the equation. The floor of 10 to the power n over x equals 1989. The floor of a number a just equals the largest integer less than or equal to a. Then this equation, let's write down the equation. The floor of 10 to the power of n, n over x equals 1989. That means 10 to the power of n over x is bigger than or equal to this number, 1989. Then less than the next integer, 1990. Because we want to solve for x, so we're going to take a reciprocal of each part of the double inequality. Doing so, we need to reverse the inequality signs. Then we get in the middle, that's x over 10 to the power n. Then here, bigger than 1 over 90, 90. Then here, less than or equal to 1 over this number. 1989. Next, all parts multiplied by 10 to the power n. Then here, just 10 to the power n then times 1 over 1990. Then in the middle, here x, then here less than or equal to 10 to the power n times 1 over 1989. Next, we are converting the two fractions to decimals, keeping eight decimal places. Then here we have just 10 to the power n. Then here keep eight decimal places. Then here just 50251. Then here x in the middle. Then here 10 to the power n. For this one, also keep Eight decimal places, then here 50276. Okay, so now let's take a close look. Then for this number, the first six decimal places here and here, they are exactly the same. So that means when n equals six, then the two numbers, so here's a six, then here's a power six. Then when the two numbers multiply together, then here for this part, that's 502.51. Then here, x bigger than this number. Then less than or equal to. Also here, that's the power 6. Then the two numbers multiply together. Then here, 502.76. So x between the two numbers and x is the integer. But between the two numbers, there's no integer. So that means there's no solution. So no solution when n equals 6. OK, so now let's look at the next digit. So next digit, this one is the seventh digit. This is a 5. So this is the seventh digit. So then, so this one's five, this one's seven. So if n equals seven, so this one's seven, this one's seven. So let's see what happens. So then here, if n equals seven, then here, power seven times this number, so power seven times this number, then we have the left-hand side here, just 5,025.1. So x bigger than this number, then less than or equal to, here's a 5,027.6. So x between the two numbers, x is the integer. So then x can be an integer bigger than this one, that's 5,026. And the integer less than this one, that could be 5,027. So that means when n equals 7, so there are two integer solutions for the equation. 
because when n equals 6, there's no solution. So then we have the conclusion for this question. So that means the minimum natural number n, so the equation has integer solution, is 7. So 7 is the answer for this question. Thanks for watching.